As photographers, videographers, and filmmakers, we are used to using lots of different bits of gear to help us do our jobs. And while most of that gear is incredibly useful, sometimes we can find bits of it to be a bit of a pain to use. And for me, the thing that I find a pain to use is filters. Now I love using filters because sometimes they are essential, whether it's using an ND filter for video, but sometimes you can use more stylistic filters. Maybe you're using an ND filter for some long exposure photography, or you're using a flare filter or a mist filter to create that nice stylistic look for your project. Using filters can really help to elevate the quality of your videos, but at the same time, I hate using them because they're just a massive faff. Having to screw them on and off the end of your lenses can be incredibly fiddly and it takes up time as well. And when you're halfway up a mountain and it's blowing a gale, you don't really want to be screwing lenses on and off because you've got cold hands. It just becomes a bit of a nightmare. And not to mention the fact that when you're using filters, they can get stuck on your lenses because maybe you've tightened them too tight and they can be really difficult to get off. Recently though, Nissi got in touch with me about their Swift filter system and I jumped at the opportunity to give this a go because it seems to be aimed at solving those exact issues and just making filters a lot quicker and a lot easier to use. Now Nissi have sent me these filters free of charge so I can try them out and make this video. However, all of these thoughts and views in this video are my own. and I shoot outside quite a lot, I use ND filters all of the time. And I do that so I can stick to the 180 degree rule, which is a shutter speed of double my frame rate. So now I'm shooting at 25 frames a second, my shutter speed is 50 frames a second. Now I'm not gonna get into that in this video because I've made videos about it in the past, but what it essentially means is I get that nice motion blur, as I've mentioned in past videos, whilst also still keeping that nice depth of field while shooting at a low aperture. And because of that, I'm always screwing ND filters on and off the ends of my lenses. And it sounds ridiculous when you say it out loud, but that takes time and it's fiddly. And it's the last thing you want to be doing if you're out and about and you've not got long to take the shot. So the Swift system is made up of a few different parts where you can add in and change up your filters and stack them as you like. And they come in this little hard protective pouch, which is incredibly useful. And in it, as you open it up, you get these sort of sections that fold out and you can store all of your different filters. So the filter pack that I have comes with a variable one to five stop ND filter. Also a four stop solid ND filter, which I will talk more about in a second because that is also variable, even though it's a hard stop filter. You get a lens cap so you can store all of these lenses on the end of your lens and protect them without putting them back in the bag. You also get an adapter ring and as I'm using right now a black mist filter and that just allows for the sort of glowy effect around these highlights which I'll talk more about again a little bit later on in the video. So what's great about these Nissi filters is you don't actually need to screw them onto your lenses. The only part that you do need to screw on is the adapter thread onto your lens. But then all you do is press the filters on top of each other just like that. The only thing that's holding together is friction, I guess, but you don't have anything to worry about because they are not going anywhere. They are completely sturdy. But the great thing here is you can stack them as well with as many filters as you want. So here I have the variable one to five stop ND filter, but then with this four stop ND filter, even though it's a solid ND filter, I can press this on top of this one stack them and then even though it is a solid stop ND filter it is then becoming a six to nine stop variable ND filter because it is stacked on top of this other variable ND filter and then if you really wanted you could take the mist filter and stack that on top of the variable ND filters and you've got six to nine stop variable ND filter with a mist filter on top or if you wanted you could just use the one to five stop variable ND with the mist filter and so on or you could just use the mist filter 
completely up to you. You can stack them as you wish. So even though they are all just pressed together, they are very sturdy. But if you wanted to take them apart, you literally just pull them apart just like that. And that is how they come apart. It is so easy and it saves so much time over twisting different filters on and off your lenses. And again, it does mean that those filters aren't going to get stuck on your lens potentially because you're twisting them to increase the ND and so on and it can it can just create a bit of a problem in the end you end up with filters or adapter rings stuck on the end of your lens and that's a problem that no one really wants to have a mist filter is designed to help create a softer looking image as great as modern day cameras are now being able to shoot in 4k 8k sometimes even 12k the image can look incredibly sharp and almost a little bit too digital a mist filter just helps to reduce that so you still get your nice 4k or 8k resolution image that looks incredible but you just get a nice softer feel to it which helps the image sometimes look a little bit more cinematic as well you tend to notice a mist filter slightly more in the highlights so if you look at this lamp behind me you can see it's got like a nice glow it creates a little or bit of a bloom effect whereas if I take the mist filter off you've lost that glow that halo effect around that light instantly and it looks a lot sharper back here and as well with my skin tones my face should look a lot sharper as well because a mist filter helps to soften your skin tones and just the whole image in general. I've been using a Tiffin Black Pro Mist filter for the last year or so on probably 90% of my videos. In fact, I'm using it on this camera now. So I've got a, a mist filter on each camera and I'm gonna pop this one back on this camera now. You can probably now see the difference that it really does make. I just think it looks a lot more cinematic. I prefer the feel it gives. And for that reason, I do use a mist filter on most of my videos. ND filters is as you apply more ND so you turn it to be able to let less light through into your lens is you get a cross that appears across your image and that's just the way that ND filters work because it is two pieces of glass turning against each other to block the light coming into the lens. Now I don't know how Nissi managed this but you don't seem to get any of that with this Swift filter system. Even when you have this four stop hard ND stacked on top of the one to five variable ND to create a six to nine stop ND, that's a bit of a mouthful. But even once you have everything stacked, you don't seem to get any of this vignetting or the cross effect in the middle of your image. It's just a great bit of kit. If you're shooting with a really wide lens, like now for example, I'm shooting with the 17 to 28 Tamron lens, and you have a couple of filters stacked. I also have the one to five stop variable ND and the mist filter stacked together on here right now. You'll see that we kind of get some vignetting around the outside, and that is because the lens is shooting so wide that it's actually filming the inside of the filter it's picking up the inside rings so what you might have to do is just zoom in a little so you can't shoot quite as wide if you have a few filters stacked now i should just say that that is a problem with all filters if you stack them using these sort of threaded filters that stick right on the end of your lenses if that is a problem that you don't want to have i'd probably recommend getting something like a matte box that uses big square filters instead of round ones that go on the end of your lenses. I only have one other slight concern with this Swift filter system and that is, as I mentioned before, you apply these filters by pressing them on top of another one and they sort of grip onto each other. My issue isn't with getting them on or the filters staying on, it is with getting them off. But I'm worried that as you sort of peel it off, peel is probably the wrong word, but as you prise it off, I'm worried that I'm gonna break the glass inside of the filter. Now I'm sure again, this isn't a problem and Nissi have probably thought about this, but 
It's just something I'm slightly aware of as I'm doing it. Also, it can be quite easy to drop the filter as you take it off because as you prise it off, it sort of pops off. So it could be quite easy to lose grip. And then if you're on a mountain where there's loads of rocks around, you might break your filter. Again, this just sounds a little bit petty. It's just something I'm aware of as I am taking these off. Now saying all of that is not something that would ever stop me buying these because I think it is genuinely a brilliant system and it does solve most of my issues that I had when it comes to using filters. So these filters, as with any filter really, don't just have to be used for videography and filmmaking. You can get some great effects with them for photography as well. An ND filter for photography allows you to shoot some nice motion blur photos with a slow shutter speed. Maybe you're at a waterfall or a river and you want to show the movement of the water through that waterfall or river and a slow shutter speed using an ND filter allows you to do that. And a mist filter, the same with video, has the same effect. It gives you a nice soft cinematic feel. And again, it will have that nice blooming effect around your photos if you have lights in the background, for example. So these filters are incredibly versatile and incredibly useful. And I'm not just saying that because they've sent them to me to try out for this video. I genuinely think they are a brilliant, brilliant product and I would highly, highly recommend these to anyone that is looking for some new filters, whether ND, mist filter, or just some filters that are quicker and easier to use than screwing on different filters and stacking with screwing on and getting filters stuck on top of other filters because you're screwing them on too tight. This pretty much negates all of that. If you are interested in these filters, Nissi have been very kind and are offering a 10% discount code at the checkout using the code EDWARDS10. So thank you very much to Nissi for that and thank you for sending them out so I can make this video as well. So go and grab yourself some new filters, have some fun and just be creative with them. Enjoy taking photos, enjoy making videos because that's what it's all about. Let me know what you think to this new filter style where you just press them on and off other filters instead of screwing them on and getting them stuck to other filters. Give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I shall see you very soon. Bye.